Bugzilla can seem very intimidating when you first use it. However, if you just want to understand what's going on with a bug, there's a few things that you need to know. When you open a bug in Bugzilla, you'll see two sections. The top section contains the metadata about the bug, its status, who filed it, what's happening with it. The bottom section are the comments, the discussion about the bug, and how we're going to solve it, and justifications of any decisions made. And so at the top left, you can see here's the bug's description. The component is broken up into a product, such as Core, or Firefox, or Toolkit. You can think of, if it's inside the browser window, it's Core. If it's outside the browser's window, it's Firefox or Toolkit. Moving back down to the comment area, the first comment will have the steps to reproduce, which will be, usually, I went to this URL, I expected this, but I got this instead. A bug will also have version information. The version that it was found, such as the numeric version corresponding to nightly, beta, release, or ESR, and then the target version, if a decision's been made on when to fix the bug. The state of the bug has two parts to it, whether it's still open or resolved, and if it's been resolved, how it's been resolved. Next to that is the bug's importance. We use P1 through P3 to indicate bugs that we plan to work on or are working on. P4 and P5 are reserved for other cases. To see who's involved with the bug, you can look in several places in the bug. First, the reporter is the person who filed the bug. The triage owner is the Mozillian who is responsible for making decisions about the bug. You can also find the people who are interested in the bug by clicking on the CC arrow. If the bug is being worked on, the assignee field should be filled. Now you should be able to describe a bug. 